now they have this wonderful opportunity that's kind of like time tested to do genuine research, even though they're not going to be in the classroom. But when I got the email, it wasn't just one student, it wasn't two, but all six of them were accepted to this uh, virtual research experience at the University of Arizona this year. But it's an incubator for high school students to do research. Um, the application process, um, it did require two teacher recommendations. So it would be Dr. Lettuce and another science teacher. Um, you needed to fill out a couple like free response questions. So the questions would be like, if you could be bitten by a radioactive animal, which one would it be and why? Right now we're still in like the beginning stages. Um, but we're each assigned like a different lab that we're interested in um, through the application we uh, submitted. We're studying frontal temporal dementia in uh, flies and how they affect their behavior and how we can translate that over to human. I think it's going to be a very powerful experience for all the high school students that do the STAR lab this year. They actually put me in a lab that I'm very interested in, which is an oncology lab. I mean, obviously, I'm really interested in like the disease component of ticks and mosquitoes. I think that that's super interesting. Science is a really big part of our society. Like, I love science. I love everything about it. I, I'm a really curious kid. I think the main focus that I really have is that I want to be able to communicate it with the public because there is a lot of people, especially you see this with COVID-19 right now, there's people that don't have a complete understanding of it and I feel like illustration is a really good way to go about to it. And then, it's not just the research, it's the presenting of the research that is the most important part. What The whole point of Star Labs is to help us, so our mentors are supposed to help us find a question, um, get data for that question, and get research for that question, and then be able to present it in a science fair uh, setting. And every student that I see do research and defend their research in front of judges, I see successes.